His styles, particularly, he's like a sly Jedi. If he sees the moves that he likes, he just, he just catches. He's in it. <laughs> Eli the sly Jedi, yeah, man. <laughs> the biggest influence I had in dancehall was Bogle. And Bogle's most dancers' biggest influence because there's no one like Bogle. No one in the world. It's like Mark Gonzalez. There's no one in the world like Mark Gonzalez because he's an individual to his craft, he's loyal to the craft and his creativity, and he pushes it so hard, and so did Bogle. Bogle invented the foundation of dancehall. And his thing is back to basics. He always, you have to bring it back to basics before you start doing crazy moves. See, it's just simple, simple basics. But you see the style, it's all about the style, you know? My older brother knew the music, but the dance part, I learned kind of on my own by going to parties, hearing the music, and then slowly people start recognizing you more and more and give you the respect. And I think the biggest part, if you're a part of it, is if you do your dance and everybody at the party does it, you know. Did you have a signature dance move? Yeah, the bossy skate, the bossy skate. <laughs> That's why I always post. Bossy in Jamaica means, you know, style and, and kind of flashy. Like if you're bossy, you might just have clean clothes. And you just, you know, there's so many similarities to um, dance on skateboarding because, you know, every other month in skating or every few months there's a new trick that's cool and same in dance hall. There's a new dance that you got to catch that's the trendy and it's it's a subculture. Skateboarding to me isn't anymore and I think that's why I gravitated to dance hall as well because people don't know about it. It's still very small and, you know, skateboarding is like a billion dollar industry, a couple billion dollar industry right now, which is crazy. Dancehall isn't, so to me, a skateboarding kind of has gone above and beyond than it was when I started. I like being connected to something that feels special and still a subculture in a way, you know? Oh, and this is, this is my boy right here. This is Ramos. We're gonna link with him today. He's gonna be in the park, hopefully. Every once a week or so, or every couple weeks, we do link up, so we'll just be like, we we'll just say, yo, meet in the park. And somebody will bring a speaker and we'll just practice moves and work out moves and, and, and just dance, you know? <laughs> yeah, man, when I first started putting little Instagram clips up, people really were talking shit, hating. What ended up happening was mainly it was these kids just saying the most annoying, stupidest things. And then you'd have legendary skater, you know, day one song, Cardiel. They'd all be like, yo, this is so dope, you're doing this. This is like, keep that up, dancing, you know what I mean? In a sense, you know, you're always a foreigner in Jamaica if you're not from there, but um, I mean, I put a lot of time in and a lot of people know me. And how long did you live in Jamaica? Uh, on and off, two years. I mean, everybody on the street called me Skate Them On. Like, yo, Skate Them On, even like the taxis, because I would take a lot of buses before I had gotten a motorcycle. And I had the skateboard on the back. Everybody's like, yo, white man, a bad man on the motorcycle, you know, like, they see me. Yeah, 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 the big link up. This is Ramos, the video I was showing you. <laughs> no, I was showing him your videos, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that you? Bombo Club, big shit. <laughs> You think Eli has to work harder as an outsider to be involved with it? Eli specifically, I wouldn't say you have to work harder because Eli is already indulged in the culture. The guy goes to Jamaica. He's already throwing parties, you know, he's already meeting with the rightful people, like the, the pioneers of dancehall here. So it's like, he's way ahead of him. <laughs> like he's, he's already doing it and he's a good guy. It's a welcoming culture, like anyone is welcome into dance hall, you know? So many people take from dance hall. For example, someone like Chris Brown or Beyonce doing a dance hall step or Afro step, it gives it, you know, recognition because they're very popular. Thing is, we just would like the credit, you know, let them know that this came from such and such and such and such and that's it. If dance hall was commercial, yes, people would know about it, but Dance hall is, I think, dance hall is best where it is, the underground.
Nine times, say that. Reload. Nine times. My time. Rifical. Spiritual. Buddha look. Spiritual <laughs> Before that boat 